Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Also, we're going to be talking about The Flash film because some stuff happened to do with Ezra Miller the other day. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, yeah, a lot of stuff went down to do with The Flash and the film they are planning. And I think, you know, because we cover The Flash so much, you know, the TV show. I should be covering the film and I do plan on doing that when the film eventually comes out and we don't know if it's going to come out now more than ever. So on the weekend a video or like an article came out to do with Ezra Miller because he was caught and it's been confirmed via Variety because the place that he was at confirmed that he was there. I think it was in Iceland or Greenland, I don't remember, I think it was Iceland. But anyway so he was at like some sort of bar, I think it was April 1st so about a week ago. And there was a video of him and at first people were questioning is this real is this actually him or is this like a joke but anyway so he basically strangles a fan and you know that's like a fucking big thing especially at the moment you know you're not supposed to touch other people number one but obviously the big thing is he's strangling a fan <laughs> you can't do that to anyone so what came out of that is everyone's outraged and obviously there's been some calls for him to be you know recast and you know kicked out of the film so i think the question we have to ask as of right now is this film going to continue going forward obviously they got a director recently that being the director of it andy muschietti and i'm very excited to see what he has to sort of bring to the flash because i think he's a great director he's definitely one of my favorite kind of up and coming directors even though he's directed like three big films already i think he will be a good fit for this but anyway so even though they've gone forward with basically him coming on as director i think they're rewriting the script and everything as of right now but you have to question, is this film actually going to go forward after this? Because this is a big thing. He strangles a fan. He strangles anyone, number one, that's terrible. Number two, a fan. And also, you know, because she was joking around and he came all serious and he got, like, kicked out of this bar, apparently, according to Variety. And so, you know, there has been sort of calls for him to be removed as the Flash after the video surfaced online. So what are the possibilities that he's actually going to get removed from the film? I think it is kind of low because I think after a few weeks with everything going on right now, people are going to kind of forget about it, which is obviously not a good thing because he's done a really bad thing and it shouldn't be forgotten about. But I think because of what's happening now in society and how everything is sort of not really focused on the smaller things, I think this is going to be looked over and I think Warner Brothers will actually go ahead with Ezra Miller as The Flash. I don't think this is going to tarnish his career. I think it may tarnish him in the eyes of some of his fans, so I don't know if that in turn is going to affect the box office potential of the film, but it seems like they are definitely in a very tricky situation, and I think there is definitely going to be some talks about, you know, are we going to go forward with this, is this film actually going to get cancelled? I think there is a possibility that it may be postponed even further considering this, and obviously what's happening right now in the world is definitely not going to be, you know, shooting this year anytime, I think it was scheduled to be you know actually premiered like next year i don't think it's going to happen i think it's going to be more like 2022 if they actually go ahead with everything and basically it's been years since they announced this and there's been so many problems like different writers directors coming on them not liking it them sort of arguing with ezra because ezra wants something else the studio wants something else and no one sort of can agree on anything and then they've now brought on andy muschietti that was sort of this ray of light because he's obviously been very successful recently with his own films and you've seen a lot of horror directors come into superhero films like James Wan, like David F. Sandberg with Shazam and obviously James Wan with Aquaman. It's been a great track record for DC as of right now so everyone was happy, everyone was excited. Obviously Ezra isn't like the fan favourite Flash, obviously that's Grant Gustin but I think Ezra has some fans you know in Justice League I think some people liked him I thought he was probably the least good bit about the film to be honest I don't think he's like Barry Allen I really don't think he is at all but that's just my thoughts on him I think he's a good actor I like him in Fantastic Beasts I like him in some other stuff but I don't think he was really the right casting for the Flash so I wouldn't be opposed to him being recast and obviously what he did was terrible but obviously I'm excited for the film because I'm a massive Flash fan as you guys know 
I'm a big Andy Muschietti fan as well. I think this is going to be good. And I think Ezra can be really good in it. But we don't know what's going to happen as of right now to do with him. And we'll have to wait and see. But... I think they're definitely in a sticky situation whatever way they choose to go. Also adding to the uncertainty, apparently there was still like further uncertainty with some of the higher ups at Warner Brothers. We're not very excited about the project to begin with, which obviously has had like terrible development for many many years like I mentioned prior in this video, and it seemed like they were sort of ready for these new phases in DC with you know the Batman film where you've had the Joker film and they're very separate apparently unless you know somehow they link in Batman to the DCEU or mainly to the Snyder film and potentially it could be like a soft reboot from you know what happened in the DCEU because obviously after Justice League they really had to consider all their choices and so the decision to continue the Flash has obviously been a very very kind of slow paced one and it doesn't look like it's going to have such a bright future as of right now, but apparently they're, you know, still sticking with Ezra Miller, and maybe they're a bit wary due to, obviously, this bad publicity that is going to haunt this film, essentially, as they go forward, and, you know, once they get to that premiere, if they actually go ahead with this, is it going to be affected by his actions? That's the question. And just another note, it seems that Warner Bros. is actually really into Ezra Miller and working with him, because... Obviously, you've got Fantastic Beasts that he's been in for two films, and he is in number three. And yes, production has been halted on that, but that has been the reason why, you know, The Flash has been delayed many times. And so his, you know, involvement in Fantastic Beasts could be obviously in jeopardy as well. But the fact that they keep on bringing him back, maybe that's a sign that they still like him and don't really care about, you know, what happened in. Iceland and so the other possibility would be obviously recasting and fans would love Grant Gustin to take over as the Flash in the film But that would be incredibly hard unless you know the Flash changes its schedule in terms of how it normally shoots due to what's going on as of right now in the world It seems that it would be nearly impossible for Grant actually to shoot this film because they shoot from about when is it like early July late June to about May normally or about April yeah more so April normally for the TV show and therefore leaving a very short period of time where a lot of films take many months to actually complete filming and then they have to get them back for reshoots he may not be available to do any of that but obviously that would be like the best thing that would be the best possible outcome out of all of this because everyone loves Grant as the Flash and everyone is basically in agreement he is the best Flash and no matter what you think about the show or anything, I think he is Barry Allen. So that is a great possibility that could come into mind if the filming schedule for this season or next season is all skew with because of the delays as of right now. But anyway, so that's about it to do with the Flash film and Ezra Miller. But let's move on to talk about this final topic. So this comes from a comment on Reddit. So they talk about how the next crossover is probably going to have to be scaled back to be... A sort of three episode arc rather than the big five episode five hours crisis on infinite earths because that was a big thing and obviously as of right now we don't know when we're gonna have our shows back and filming so it seems like they're definitely gonna want to scale back the sort of levels of production in their big crossover you know potentially there couldn't be a crossover obviously arrow's gone but you still got the flash supergirl batwoman black lightning legends of tomorrow I don't think there's going to be a five hour crossover, I think it's going to be more like a three hour crossover like this person says on Reddit. I think it's going to be The Flash, Supergirl and Batwoman. On this post he says Legends, but I think that Batwoman is a bigger show than Legends as of right now. It's doing very good for the CW so it would make a lot of sense if they incorporated Batwoman. I guess it could be a four way crossover again, obviously Black Lightning wasn't included last time. And I don't see it included this time. Yes, it is involved in the Arrowverse, but it's the least involved out of any of the shows. And I think it's going to be The Flash, Supergirl, and Batwoman if they get round to it. There is a chance that it may not happen. And that's because of we don't know when they're going to get back to filming, you know, the rest of this season. But also starting next season is their schedule is going to be completely off. There is a high chance that is going to be completely off and they may have to miss the crossover. So what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway guys, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see.